Okay, leak code 704, binary search, grind 75. I don't even know, to be honest. But basically in this problem, you're given an input of integers and you want to find the target within that array and return the index of it. And if you haven't guessed by the title, we're going to be doing binary search on this. But generally, if you're asked for algorithms that have to run in log n time or your input data has some kind of ordering property to it, binary search might be a good thing to try. So I drew something out here in paint as always. And basically binary search kind of hinges on the idea of an ordering property existing between whatever elements you're looking through. So for example, if we take a look at three and we look ahead, we have to guarantee that everything in front of three is going to be bigger than it and everything behind three is going to be less than it. And we do this because let's say we're looking for nine, like in this case, we know that since everything here behind is less than nine or is less than three, it's also going to be less than nine. So we can completely eliminate this search space. And now we only have to look here, right? And how we're going to do that is we're going to basically first initialize two pointers, one pointing here, and the other pointing here, right? And every time we're going to calculate the middle. So in this case, let's say it's five. And we're going to compare, we're going to say, okay, five, are you, are you nine? If you are, we're going to immediately return. But if you're not, are you less than or are you greater than? In this case, it's less than. So we know that everything before the five and including the five is going to be useless in our search for nine, right? So we can eliminate this. And now we can update our left pointer to be in front of that five itself. And now we only have to look here, right? And we repeat this search over and over and over again until we break the condition. Generally, it's while, le while left is less than or equal to R. So let's get it. So we're gonna initialize our pointers. So it's gonna be zero and our right's gonna equal to, uh, yeah, what am I doing? Right's gonna equal to nums.size minus one. I'm gonna say while left is less than or equal to right. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna say, we're gonna calculate our middle. So I'm gonna say int m is gonna to equal to l plus right minus l divided by two. We do this right here in order to avoid an overflow error. This is just really good practice. Um, you can also do bit shifting as well, but I think this is just more legible. Um, so you see like if we start with L at zero, so let's say L is like here, it's gonna be at zero. So in this case, the size of the array is six, right? So R will be pointing to five. So we have five minus zero is going to be five. So it's gonna be zero plus five minus zero divided by two, and that's gonna be our middle. So it works pretty much the same, except it protects you from that overflow error. So basically we wanna say if nums of M is equal to the target, we're done. We just immediately return M, right? The index. Else if, if nums M was less than our target, right? We can basically, we know that the middle, in our case, it was five when we examined, we knew it was less than our target. So we can just, we can just disregard everything before five and including five and look and move our left pointer. So in this case, we're gonna say L is gonna to equal to M plus one. And then else, it's that other case, right? Imagine if we were looking for, let's say, let's undo all this. Let's say the target was like zero, right? And we end up stumbling across five as our middle. We're gonna say, well, five is bigger than zero, so we can actually now disregard everything here and only look here, right? And repeat that whole entire process, except in this case, R is the one that gets to move here to shrink our search space. So we'll say that else, right, is gonna to equal to middle minus one. And if we broke all this while, if we break out of this while loop and we never return, we basically just say return negative one as the problem dictates. Let's see if it works. It does, cool. Let's run some example test cases. It works, cool. Now let's submit. There we go.
pretty quick. I'll put this fluctuates a lot. Pretty easy problem, a classic. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed.